Hello everyone and welcome back. When you're writing an essay or making a presentation, don't copy from other people. Paraphrase instead. This video will show you how to paraphrase. Paraphrasing means to put someone else's ideas in your own words. Of course, copying someone else's words or ideas is wrong. On the other hand, most teachers would say paraphrasing is welcome. That's because if you can paraphrase, then it means you understand the material very well. Number one, step one, use synonyms. Change green to verdant. Change the park to outdoors and change jump to leap. Find words that have similar meanings. Change the structure, step two. Change a because sentence into a so sentence. Contrast to compare or before to an after sentence to totally switch it around. And number three, keep the main idea. Change the words, keep the idea. I'll show you three examples of this. That afternoon, the brave man leaped toward the hot sand and blue ocean so he could cool off. Let's find some synonyms for these colored words. We could change brave man to adventurer, leaped to jumped, hot sand to the warm beach, and blue ocean to the sea. These are all synonyms. Cool off could totally change to go for a swim, since that is the idea. And here it looks now. That afternoon, the adventurer jumped toward the warm beach and the sea so he could go for a swim. But now let's change the structure. We're going to change this from a so sentence to a because sentence. Because it was so hot, the adventurer jumped toward the beach and the sea to go for a swim in the afternoon. Example 2. The strawberries grew quickly because of the hot sun and daily rain all summer. Let's find some synonyms, or words with similar meanings. Grew quickly. Hmm, what does that mean? It probably means the strawberries will be big and juicy. Hot sun? We're going to change to an adjective. Warm. Daily rain? Also an adjective. Wet. And the summer? We could pick a month, like July. The strawberries were big and juicy because of the warm and wet July. And if we change the structure, we change it from a because sentence to a so sentence this time. It was a nice, warm, and wet July, so we got big, juicy strawberries. Paraphrase complete. And the third example. Neil Armstrong, the first human to step onto the moon, splashed into the Pacific Ocean on July 24th, 1969. Synonyms first. Step onto would be the same as set foot on. Different words, same idea. Moon can change to the lunar surface. Here's a big change. Splashed into the Pacific Ocean is when he returned to Earth. And July 24th just happens to be eight days after the launch. Change a date to a different kind of date. Neil Armstrong, the first human to set foot on the lunar surface, returned to Earth eight days after launch. Now we can change the structure. Eight days after launch, the first man to set foot on the lunar surface, Neil Armstrong, returned to Earth. Again, paraphrase complete. Quick review. Step one. Use synonyms. Similar meanings. Change the adjectives, nouns, and verbs. Step two, change the structure. Connector words can change, words that are prepositions or conjunctions, to change the structure. And step three, keep 
the main idea. Don't change too much. Change the words, keep the idea. So thanks for watching this video, everyone, and I'll see you next time.